Over 460 students at Dickinson College graduating today without a speaker this morning after CNN host and radio personality Michael Smirkanish was disinvited. Tonight, for the first time, we hear from parents and their thoughts on the decision. CBS 21's Maxine Rose was at the graduation. I had really mixed feelings. I think I might have made a different decision. You're mm -hmm. never going to please everyone. A crowd of proud parents divided in their opinions. The decision to cancel Smirkanish coming after a student written op-ed opposed a book he wrote decades ago, saying he supported racial profiling. From there, a student protest and a pro-Palestine encampment with signs calling to remove him as speaker. They were told he's no longer going to be here. Everything shut down. This institution was founded on the principle of civic duty. It is dedicated to creating a distinct type of student, one that is unwavering when faced with a challenge and understands that we are united by our differences. And this idea of unity, bringing thousands of friends, family, and loved ones here today to celebrate one thing, their students. As parents of a student who didn't have a high school graduation, um, and I get emotional talking about it, that was more important than anything. President John E. Jones taking a brief moment to address students during the same time the commencement speaker would have spoken. I implore all of you to keep engaging with those with whom you disagree in every sphere of your lives. Do so respectfully. That's how we get stronger. That's how we grow together. You heard the one speaker here talk, and she spoke of love and forgiveness, and that's really something. And the focus today, new beginnings, as the next chapter for the class of 2024 starts today. In Carlisle, Maxine Rose, CBS 21 News.